To view your automation stats, go to Automation, and then find the automation you want to look into. I'm going to go ahead and sort by open rate, and just use this little demo account I prepared here. You can either cl click Overview here, or you can click the name of the workflow. I'm going to go ahead and click the name. And here are the main stats. You have the, the subscribers who completed this workflow, it's zero in this case, and the subscribers in the queue, this is also zero. These are the subscribers that are waiting for the next step in the workflow. Total emails sent, there was 100, 99% opened, and none of these emails clicked. None of these subscribers clicked. Here we have an overview of the stats. We can look at the last three months or six or 12 months and then export this data if needed. Then we have the emails and the specific stats for the emails. And we can go deeper into the stats if we want and view the report for the specific email. Let's look at the surprise bonus. Yes, I know there's a typo here. View report. Okay, and here are the stats connected to this email. We have the link activity, we have the e commerce tab, and this is for situations where you have MaderLite integrated with your eShop. Then you can start seeing these numbers go higher and higher once people start clicking through your emails and buying. Then we have view email. This allows you to see the email with the click map. This will show how many people clicked the specific link in percentage. And we can, of course, turn off the click map if we just want to see the email. Then we have the activities, the link activities. Here they are again. You can export this data also and it opens by location. This will show you the location of the people who have opened the most of your emails, of any people. In this case, all the people were from the United States, and that's why we see 99 here. And we have sent emails. And here we see who got this specific email. We have all of the subscribers here, but we can also filter them through the people who unsubscribed, the unopened, in this case it's only one, and we can also look at the other things like clicked, forwarded, uh, hard bounced, soft bounced, spam complaints, etc., etc. Let's go back to opened. And again, actions. We can copy these people to a group or export them to a file. Look for specific subscribers using this search feature right over here. And also, if we want to view more at once or less, we can just go ahead and click 100. Or if you want less, we can use 10 or 25. And also, we can look through these pages by using these little buttons, these arrows here. All right, so that's that. Let's go back to the stats overview. Here we are again. And now let's go back to that whole automation. Very similar. We have the overview, we have the e commerce. These are the stats for the whole workflow. We have the activity here. This is very important. You see the people who completed the workflow. Like I said, it was zero, but you can also see the people who were canceled here. And I canceled all of them. And what you could do now is select all of these here, go to actions and re-add these people to the sequence. So you can either re-add them to the step where they were canceled or where the workflow failed, or you can add them to another step. For example, select a step. We can go with email, select. We can select the first email, and they will be re-added to that step. So when I click Confirm, all those people will get that email. If we add them to a delay instead of an email, they will be added to that de delay and they will wait two days and then they will go to the next step of the workflow. And just to be sure, you have these numbers over here so you can be sure you're adding them to the right delay. Okay, I'm going to cancel this. Of course, you can filter by step. The reason for cancellation, the delay time has passed. Use these calendar features and filter really, really precisely to find the people you are looking for. Then you can sort them by date, by step and this will change the order of the sorting. Then we have, of course, export. And once you move these people to the next step of the workflow, they will be moved from canceled to queued. And once they complete the workflow, they will be moved to complete. That's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and click this little cog and let's edit this workflow. 
just wanted to show you one more thing when you are in the workflow you can also view the workflow activity here and view the full report here which will take you to that screen we were in, we were on just a moment ago and also of course you have a little glimpse of the stats over here so that's pretty much it i hope you've enjoyed this video have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching the video please click subscribe use the little bell icon you can also catch us on facebook instagram twitter and of course use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter thanks again and see you in the next video